Hi guys, my name is Maynard Castro and welcome to Future Priority Hub. Sa channel na to, i-discuss natin yung mga topics about radiologic technology. Alright, alright, alright. So let's start with classical. So si classical is also known as coherent or Thomson or unmodified scattering. Sir, bakit siya tinawag na unmodified scattering? Kasi guys, ano mapansin, kung mapansin nyo guys sa interaction, yung incident photo nag-interact with the whole atom. And then, kung napapansin nyo guys, yung guit-guit na yan, so, ang, tinut ang, pina ang tinutukoy lang yan, in-excite niya po yung whole atom. Then, kung mapapansin nyo guys, after exciting the, exciting the whole atom, yung scattered photons is the same as, has the same wavelength as the incident photon. So, ibig sabihin guys, unaffected po yung energy niya. Okay? So, walang kinetic, walang loss of energy dyan. Kasi nga po, ang nangyari lang na process ay excite. So, kaya siya tinawag na unmodified kasi nga po yung energy ng beam, x-rays, or frequency, parehas lang. Okay, so tingnan nyo guys, incident photon energy is equal to scattered photon energy. Bakit unaffected yung energy? Kasi nga po wala naman transfer of energy dahil wala naman nangyayaring ionization. Okay? So, ayun po yung concept. Kaya siya tinawag na unmodified. So, yan. Interaction with very low energy. So usually guys, nangyayari po ang classical or coherent kapag less than 10 keV. And then this is interaction with the whole atom. So anong process? Excitation. Okay? Tandaan. Less than 10 keV, coherent. So tandaan nyo guys, nangyayari rin po sa uh, diagnostic range to pero minimal lang. Okay? Minimal lang. So do not involve ionization. Yes. Kasi nga po it involves only low energy x-rays. So yan. Excitation lang of the whole atom. Okay? So, kami yan sa classical. So, what is the product? Okay? So, kung meron ka incident photon, ano po? Energy. Meron ka rin pong scattered photon energy. So, sabi nga dyan, unaffected yung energy ng beam. So, same energy, same frequency, same wavelength as incident photon. Okay? Kaya siya tinawag na an modified. Okay? So, same lang po yan. Same lang sila ng energy. Okay? So, ayan, travel in different direction. Yes. Okay? Number one, unaffected yung energy ng incident. Number two, nagbago po yung direction. Kasi kung mapapansin nyo guys, ito yung original path niya. Okay? Pag tama sa kulis, diniplex siya. So, in different direction. Okay? So, hindi affected yung energy niya. Number two, okay? Uh, Nag-change ng direction yung incident photon. Okay? So, ayan. Absorb in the body, yes. Kasi masyado mababa yung energy niyan. So, mas ang tendency niyan, ma-absorb lang ng body. Yung scattered, uh, yung classical scatter. So, ayan. So, of course, syempre kapag na-absorb yan ng patient, ng katawan, magkakontribute yan sa uh, patient dose. Okay? So, ayan. Do not contribute significantly to the image, x-ray image. Pero take note, nangyayari siya kasama ni Compton at saka ni Poto Electric. Okay? So, tandaan. So, we have two types of current scattering. Actually, uh, we have uh, Rayleigh and uh, Rayleigh and Thompson scattering. So, ano kayo ba ng dalawa? Okay, based on the book, sa Rayleigh scattering po, of course, uh, it, it involves interaction of all electrons sa atom. Pero guys, pag pinag-uusapan lang po single electron, so dyan lang papasok kayo si uh, Thompson. Okay? So, tandaan, ayun lang yung difference nila. Okay? Kapag ang involved ay sobrang daming uh, electrons, all electrons or most of the electrons sa atom, okay, ang mangyayari po doon ay uh, relay scattering. Kapag po single electron, Thompson. Saturday. Saturday.